Hello everybody! So, welcome back to my channel. I'm Trish Espina and today we're going to make quesadilla. Okay, so this is one of my favorite snack and uh, you can use chicken, pork, or beef if you want but I prefer or I will be using chicken for today. Okay, the ingredients we're going to need chicken thigh filet 1 kilo. So I've already sliced my chicken thigh filet like this into strips. Okay, and then we're going to need uh, a spice mix. So for the spice mix, we're going to need 1 teaspoon oregano, 1 teaspoon chili flakes, 1 teaspoon cumin, 1 teaspoon coriander powder, 1 teaspoon black pepper, and 2 teaspoons of uh, kosher salt. So if you're using iodized salt, uh, lessen it to maybe around 1 to 1 and a half teaspoon depending on the preference. Uh, of how salty you want you want it to be okay so we're also going to need uh, six cloves of garlic okay and then two tablespoons of calamansi or lemon juice a bunch of cilantro okay so we call it one soy here in the philippines it's also called coriander okay so these are the uh, coriander leaves but we're going to use the whole one even the uh, roots so make sure that you wash the roots very well because these roots are so flavorful so we're not going to to waste them okay so we're going to also need uh, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce two tablespoon of uh, oil and uh, we will use uh, olive oil for stir frying uh, as needed okay we're also going to need onions sliced I've already sliced my onions like this okay so this is one uh, medium sized onion and then one bell pepper red and one green bell pepper we're also going to need six large uh, flour or corn tortilla whatever uh, you want to use but I'm using flour tortilla this time okay and uh, cheese so if you want to mix cheeses, you want to use cheddar, quick melt, or uh, a mix with mozzarella cheese, uh, you can also do so. Okay, so this is, uh, I think this is half a kilo, 500 grams of uh, cheese. Okay, so let's start by preparing our uh, spices. Okay, so chop your garlic finely. So since I have uh, garlic breath, I'm going to use it. We're going to add our 2 tablespoons calamansi. If you don't have calamansi in your place, you can use lemon juice instead. Same amount. 2 tablespoons of oil. 1 tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to add all my spices. And I'm going to uh, chop my cilantro and add everything. Okay, so as I mentioned a while ago, make sure that you also include the roots because the roots are so flavorful and it's going to add a lot of flavors in your uh, filling for our quesadilla. So this cilantro is very important because it's going to give that uh, Mexican taste to your authentic Mexican taste to your uh, quesadilla. Okay. I'm going to also cut my uh, bell pepper. Okay. So let's set this aside. We're going to use that later when we saute our chicken. Okay, so make sure uh, that you mix everything together okay so uh, the best way to do this is by using your hands you can leave this to marinate for 10 to 15 minutes but i usually go ahead and just uh saute it because all the flavors are there anyway so we're going to use everything and even if you don't marinate it for a long time it will still be delicious okay so make sure that you massage all those spices and 
condiments that we used a while ago. Okay, so let's heat our pan and cook the filling for our quesadilla. Okay, so let's start by heating our pan and putting in a little bit of olive oil. So my pan, my, my pan is already very hot. I want it that way, okay? So we're going to do it by batches. So it will seal in nice. So if you need to add more oil, as you saute your uh, chicken, add more oil. very hot pan to be able to sear our chicken very well okay so the juices will not come out you see so make sure that your chicken is fully cooked although we will be cooking again our quesadilla together with the flour tortilla later if your chicken are cooked and then you put a little bit of bell pepper and a little bit of onion okay and saute it you can also use this uh, cook this in just ordinary kawale okay in your wok at home okay so I'm going to turn it off and then I'm going to show you how to assemble one so that we can enjoy it Okay, so I want my onions to be uh, still a little bit crunchy, okay, and uh, the bell pepper. So I'm going to turn this off. So this is done. Uh, we cook everything and then... Uh, this is how plenty it will look like. So this is actually chicken pajita already. You can eat this uh, with Mexican rice or you can already eat this with uh, flour tortilla as is. Okay, so you can enjoy this with salsa and uh, flour tortilla on the side. Or you can also uh, use this to a stopping for your tacos. Okay, soft tacos or uh, crunchy tacos. Pwede rin siya. Napakasarap niyan. Okay, so uh, let's start the, the assembly for the quesadilla. Okay, so we're going to do the assembly of our uh, quesadilla using six large. Okay, so if you want to uh, use smaller size, para mas madami, it's up to you. So I'm going to show you how to assemble. Okay, so we're going to need cheese. And uh, for the cheese, I'm going to divide my cheese into eight equal sizes. Uh, this is half kilo, so may sobra ako. Uh, so I'm going to cut the cheese into eight equal sizes, and then one cheese, one cube will be enough for. Uh, one uh, quesadilla para pantay-pantay yung mailalagay natin so hahatiin ko na siya ng kalahati na ganyan and then i-grate nyo yung kalahati dun sa don't worry guys this will be enough for the whole ano kasi it's going to be too salty pag wala masyadong madaming cheese if you want uh, maraming cheese you can also add uh, mozzarella, mas masarap. Hindi masyadong maalat kasi ang mozzarella. Itong Eden, tamang-tama lang yung alat niya para sa akin. So, uh, hindi masyadong madaming ilalagay ko. So, make sure that the cheese is evenly distributed dun sa half. Bakit half? Kasi ipo-fold natin siya. So, the cheese is important because uh, on both sides, top and bottom, because it's going to seal and it's going to make our quesadilla stick together, okay? Make sure that you mix first your uh, 
mix first your chicken kasi all the juices at the bottom of the pan are good kasi uh, olive oil ginamit natin dyan so kahit na medyo oily yan okay lang yan, good oil naman yan kasi nandyan yung flavors nung mga spices natin dumidikit dun sa, sa pan kaya hindi ko siya inaalis sa pan guys so, we're going to put this one on top of our uh, quesadilla okay so lalagyan natin siya distribute nyo yung ano yung uh, amount of the chicken and then the veggies para maganda and para even of course yung flavors niya and then grate the other half of the cheese dun sa ibabaw na naman ng inyong chicken Okay. So, if we fold natin siya into half, don't press this one. Mamaya ipipress natin kasi minsan nahahati siya. So, I want it to be full. Okay? So, sindihan natin yung pan. So, you can use ordinary non-stick frying pan to grill this if you don't have a grill pan like this. So, no need to put oil. But if you want to spray a little bit of oil dito, Yan, pwede naman. Pwede kayong mag-brush ng konting oil. Lalagyan natin ng isang quesadilla. Okay? So, pag mainit na, we put half. Okay? So, gusto ko yung grill marks makita. So, luto naman na yung bread niya, no? Luto na yung bread, luto na yung filling. All we need to do is to make our uh, quesadilla a little bit crispy uh, on top and at the bottom para masarap kainin. Okay, so it depends on you kung gano'ng katustado nyo gusto yung inyong quesadilla. Okay, so I think the other side is done. So you flip it like this. Dahan-dahan. So yan, kita yung ating marks. Yan, and then you cook the other side again. Okay, so okay na to. Okay, tikman natin. Alam ko na yung lasa nito kasi favorite ko to eh. Mmm. Wow. Guys, try nyo to. Sobrang sarap. Every time we have a party here at home, isa to sa mga pinaka-favorite ng mga bisita namin. Mga friends namin. Kaya, make sure anytime soon, gawa kayo nito. Okay? Maaali kayo dito. Okay? So, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And watch out for a lot more videos kasi marami akong nakaplano para sa mga susunod na mga vlog. Okay? So, see you guys sa mga susunod. Thank you for watching. Hmm. Up.